Colin, was it a thrill to finally score 50 last week? <laughs> hey, uh, no doubt. We'll, we'll take it any way it comes. <laughs> what do you, this KU defense has really improved. What do you see from them? Uh, you know, I, I think they do the, uh, they're do the. they doing little things really, really well. You can tell block destruction, uh, tackling in space. Uh, you can tell the, the confidence in, in their scheme and, and knowing what the other guy is doing and how they fit into that, uh, you know, is, uh, has improved. Obviously, a lot of experience in their secondary. Uh, so, I mean, they're, uh, they're doing a nice job. It'll be, be a good challenge for us. Turnovers are always so important, but that seems to be their secret sauce, isn't it? They've been extremely opportunistic with that. And, and you look at it from, you know, the uh, corner coming up and being physical on that second play of the BYU game and, and finding points there to pick six, pick six against Iowa State, against Oklahoma. I mean, uh, it's, uh, again, like I said, they've, they're making plays. They're playing within themselves, but, but still very aggressive. And so it's, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're doing a heck of a job. Change of intensity from the guys since that Oklahoma State loss. Um, you know, I I think our our attention to detail has has improved in something that we've uh, obviously stressed. Um, you know, I, I, it's hard to say that directly just because our all of our guys uh, their effort level really from uh, from the jump has has been off the chart. We just haven't, uh, you know. Uh, been you know we just missed too many opportunities in those in those situations so uh but no i've I've been extremely proud of their effort and and how they've competed through through the whole thing did you show an extra bit of a reaction when will howard broke that record i could you're in the booth kind of far away from it but what does that mean to you uh again just so proud of him you know just how he's uh just had again worked himself into into having such a uh, such a great career here, and obviously it's not done, um, you know, and, and just being able to uh, continue to uh, have milestones like that for him is uh, pretty proud of him, for sure. You know, the offense has been so good this year. One of your phrases, though, is we left a couple of plays out there on the field. How, how close are you to, to being where you'd like to be? You know, it's... <laughs> uh, it, is, it is a game of inches. Uh, it's a game of inches every week. Um, you know, and, and, but, and, and growth is never a straight line either. I mean, there's, uh, there's learning experiences for myself, for us as, as a staff, for our players. And then, and then each, each year is, it's a different team, you know, regardless of how many guys you have returning or not and, and, and how you continue to grow, you continue to put it together. And uh, we're, st we're still doing that this year. You know, there's things we've improved on the last couple of weeks that, uh, got to continue to do and and you know at the end of the day you can't you can't focus too much on what if this what if that or or whatever it's about hey trying to be as good as we can right now and 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 uh, be as good as we can be today why do you think dj has been such a threat for you guys catching the ball out of the backfield um you, you know i i think uh, uh a lot of that is um will howard does a really really good job of understanding protections, understanding hots, and so we're able to get, we're able to be in five-man pro quite a bit, you know, and and so being able to get him out in concepts quickly and, and have Will manage some of the some of the things that can happen when you're in those situations, um, and then credit DJ. I mean, DJ does. I mean, he's got uh, obviously good speed when he gets in space, and his ball skills are uh, extremely good too. I mean, sometimes those bullet routes. Uh, those aren't easy catches, even though they look routine. Sometimes they can be on a back shoulder, and when you're running at a full, a full tilt at, at that angle, at that rail angle, it's uh, sometimes those catches are harder than they look too. So he he does a nice job. Is catching the ball something he had to work at after he got here? Yeah, you know he he's very natural. I mean he he's got natural ball skills. I mean you, you go back. I mean the the screen pass in Missouri, I think was was touching his shoelaces. You know, and he, he snatches it darn near on the top of the ball. Uh, you know, and there's times in practice that, you know, we'll miss a ball and it's down low and behind him, and he'll just be able to one hand and, and scoop the thing up. So I think it's um, he's kind of got really really sneaky good ball skills. Fourteen. If my math then is correct, that was young Colin Klein all the way through now. Um, what has there been a common thread to 
why this series is following in K-State's favor? You know, it's <clears throat> it's nothing flashy. It's nothing. Uh, there's not anything secret about it. It's it's truly we've had uh, extremely good leadership from the top down. Uh, you know, during during those times and during this time, and, and uh, truly focusing on on what we can control and and being able to uh, to execute and do the things that that allow you to win and and be physical, play with great effort, protect the football and uh, obviously be good on third down and, and all those things that, that you have to do to win and because uh, it doesn't matter who you play. You don't do those things and, and it's not going to go well. Does Garrett Oakley provide you, especially when you're in 12 personnel? It's been really fun to watch him continue to grow. He's, he's gotten better even through the season, I think. Um, provides, again, a lot of uh, uh, another really, really good long target. And uh, I think uh, Ben has helped him a lot too. You know, of, and, and helped him grow into, uh, you know, into the player he's becoming. But uh, again, long, athletic, fast targets with good ball skills. We won't, we won't turn those away. <laughs> it's always tough to turn off outside noise, but you've got the rivalry game. You got a lot of talk about two games left in the season, and the, the race is a mess, and the tiebreaker issue. Is it a little more challenging to turn off that noise right now? You know, I. I I, I really don't think so, just because this group, I mean, we've, uh, this group's seen a lot. We've been through a lot. Um, and so I think uh, being able to, to put our nose down and, and not worry about anything that's not in our control other than making sure we, we go on the road and, and, and play uh, up to our capabilities, uh, that, that's truly all we can focus on. And uh, I think our guys are, are doing a good job of that right now. Veteran offensive line allow you to flourish as the season progresses, and most would say peak towards the end of the season. You know, it's a credit to them. I think they've continued to play better and better as the season is gone. You know, and so I think even being a veteran group for them to do that is a credit to them. It's a credit to uh, Coach Riley and, and and what he does, and and uh, uh, they set the tone for our group. I mean, that's the, there's no doubt about it from a leadership standpoint, an energy standpoint, a practice, and uh, obviously everything you do, running or throwing the football, uh, goes goes through uh, you know what you do up front, and those uh, the, they're doing a heck of a job. Is this the best football that Bill Brooks has played since he's been at Kansas State? You know, I think so. Uh, you know, I, th I think he's even uh, been playing faster the last couple weeks. Um, and he's really provided uh, stability and consistency, you know, in, in that room for, for Will and, and, and for us. So, uh, you know, credit to him and, and seen a lot of football. I guess if I can readjust my question that I asked earlier. Oh, absolutely. How, how close is this offense to playing to its potential? <clears throat> you know, I, I think uh, it's, it, it'd be hard to put a, put a percentage on it. You know, I think uh, myself is always kind of a, uh, a little bit of an idealist and, and wanting more out there and always pushing for more and, and believing there's a lot more. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I could ever tell you we're scratching the surface myself, but uh, that's, uh, that's part of the, the journey and, and the grind part of it that, uh, that I enjoy and, and I know our guys enjoy, so uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Random one here for you. That's yeah. something I was wondering about the other day. How's Jacob been looking as your scout team QB this year? You know, he's done a really, really good job for them. Uh, and uh, at least, you know, it's, uh, I think he's worked on even while being on scout team and, and working for, for the defense. I think his mechanics have improved. I think the ball's coming out of his hand and, and jumping out of his hand uh, even better than it did when he got here. Uh, I think his body is, is continuing to grow because he's still a young player. Um, and I think uh, Coach True and, and his staff have, uh, uh, he's benefited from, from being with them already. And uh, just he's been an unbelievable team guy and, and uh, really worked well in the room. And, and all, the, uh, all the guys on the team really, really respect him. So uh, really excited about him.